Pep roll tubes are quite uh, easy to make and you can make lots of structures but also mechanisms from them. So let's see what you're going to need for this. Some masking tape, a rolling rod, and that's about a 12 millimeter or half inch, approximately half inch rolling rod dowel. Um, and that's about 30 centimeters long. A hole punch, you can use any type of normal paper punch for a ring binder, but these are really handy because you only ever need one punched hole at a time. Masking tape, better than sticky tape or sellotape. Masking tape's best. And most important of all, uniformly sized A5 paper. So we're after A5 paper and try and cut them all, uh, all the pieces, the same size. So exactly half of A4, but some cutters aren't very good. Have a look at the, the, the consistency of the paper dimensions after it's been cut. If there's a wide variation, then the structures you make are all sort of um, non-aligned, so won't line up properly. So there's our piece of A5 paper, there's the rolling rod, there's the punch, there's the tape. I've got some uh, a tape dispenser here, which is just makes it quicker for the demonstration. And we need small pieces of sticky tape. So I've got a piece handy there. Here's the rolling rod. The rolling rod allows us to create a perfect tube. So the, the important thing would be start with the rod aligned. So the only way you can do that is look down on the rod and get a good view of it. Now you can just curl it over like this look and then look at how it lines up at the edge and then rotate the rod round a bit until the edges perfectly line up. Now we need to tuck this overlap underneath and the only way to do it is to roll it back first and then fingers curled round, curled round and under. So really curl it round underneath. Once you've felt the paper go underneath then as long as you've got a firm hold with one finger you can let go, roll the paper tube all the way to the end, don't let go, hold on to it and pick it up with a little overlap Take one little piece of sticky tape and rub it on. That gets all the air bubbles out. And then watch, rotate the rod and wrap the tape round. And what that does is just squeeze out any air from under the masking tape and makes a nice tight roll. Sometimes you do them so tight that if there are any uneven patches on the rod, it'll get caught on the patches. But the tighter the tube, the better. Sometimes you've got to untwist the tube. So this one here, you've got to untwist the tube. So a little test to see that you've done this properly. We need the paper tube to be even at the end. So it doesn't roll its way, sticking out a bit further or in a bit further. And that's quite consistent. If you've made a really good tube, you should be able to stand it up. Now it doesn't matter about th this little bit at the edge sticking out. That doesn't matter at the uh, after you've put that bit of tape on. You could add more tape further up, but it's not necessary. And because we're going to punch a hole, you must avoid having tape near the end. So if you put tape at the end just to make it look neat, then the punch keeps getting clogged with the tape. So that's a bad thing to do. Don't put tape on the ends of the tube. So now what we've got to do is punch the tube. And the way to do it is we've got to get the punch holes lined up. You'll see why in a minute. The punch holes have got to be in the ends, but lined up. Only way to do that is to squash the ends of the tube in line at the same time. So don't squash one and punch it, then come back and squash the other one. Do them both at the same time and that means you'll get them in a perfect line. So do a bit of a fingerprint thing on the end, look, just squeeze the end. Don't squeeze the whole tube, just the end. And now it should fit into the jaws of the punch. We need to make sure it goes all the way in. So we can't have part way in, and then on the next one, all the way in. You've got to have them consistent. Otherwise we make irregular structures instead of uniform symmetrical structures. So just check, you're all lined up. One quick punch, take it out, and there's our punched tube. Next one goes straight in, all the way into the punch. Check it's in line, punch. And then, just check there, the two holes are perfectly in line, which is exactly what we want. So that would be a very good roll tube. Apart from the fact that we've squashed it. So now, 
just make an effort to open it back out again and you'll find that the structures you make will be stronger. It's never quite going to be the same, but it's basically a tube. If it's flat, it's not very strong. If it's tubular, it is stronger. We'll do some strength testing later. So that's how to make a roll tube.